What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to draw King Kong from Skull Island. Now the first thing we want to do is start in the center of our page with the eyes. So we move over to the left side and start with the upper eyelid. Starting from the outside we're going to curve up and then bend that down on the inside. Now we're going to leave a gap and draw the same thing over on the right. So let's line up the inside of the eyelid. We're going to curve up and then just hook that down on the outside. Let's move back in and curl the inside of the brow. On the left side, I'm going to curve in and then up. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to connect the inside corners of the brow with a curve. I'm going to go up and then down. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting over on the left, I'm going to step in, curve down, across, and then up on the inside of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving down and then just pulling that up. Let's add two small circles tucked in underneath the eyelid. So we're going to start halfway along the top of the eyelid, curve down, and then up. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. And then at the top, we're going to draw a small black dot right in the middle of the iris. Let's fill the outside area of the eyes in black. Let's move to the center. We're going to step down, start with a point. We're going to draw the outer edge of the nose. Starting in the middle, we're going to curve up towards the eye, round it out, and then just hook that back in. Go back to the center and do the same thing over on the right side. Now let's draw the inside of the nostril. In the center, we'll step down, start with another point, curve up and out towards the left, and then up and out towards the right. Now we're going to add a crease on the side of the nose. Starting on the left, we're going to curve out and then down. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's leave a gap and draw the top edge of the mouth. From this point, we're going to step down, curve up, and then down on the right. Now we're going to curve out and down towards the bottom corners of the mouth. Going out and then down. And then we're going to connect these lines with another curve. Going up in the middle, and then down on the right. Let's add in the teeth. Starting from the top corner on the left, we'll curve down and in. And we'll go straight up and curve that in. Do the same thing on the right. Curve down and in. And then taper this back up and in. And then from the inside of the fangs, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down. Then we'll connect the bottoms with a curve. Going across and then down. Let's separate out the teeth. Starting with the center, we'll draw a straight line and draw one more line on either side. And then we'll move down and draw two more fangs. Starting on the left, we'll go up and then angle down and do the same thing on the right. Let's move to the center, start with a dot and then curve up and then down in behind the left fang, go back to the center, curve up and down in behind the right fang. Now we want to fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now we want to move out and draw on the cheekbones. From the outside corner of the eye, we step out, we want to curve down, and then bend that in. Do the same thing over on the right. Curving down, and then pulling that in. And then we're going to work our way around the mouth. From the inside of the cheek, we're going to step out, curve around the mouth, down, and then in. And then the same thing on the right, going around, and then pulling that in. We're going to round out the corners of the mouth, coming around, and we'll connect these two lines with a curve. Just following the same curve of the mouth, going up, and then down. Let's go back up to the top, on the left side, and go straight up, we're going to bend that in. Do the same thing on the right side. And we're going to fill the inside area with the hair. Starting on the left, curve down and in. Taper that back out. And down and across. And then back up. I'm just going to pull this up towards the right side of the head. Let's go back in and add some more detail to the face. 
from this point, we're going to step up, curve up, and then out. Do the same thing on the right side. And then in the center, we're going to step up, draw a short line going up in between the brow. Let's add a wrinkle underneath the eyes. Starting on the left, curve down and then out on both sides. Now we're going to move out and surround the lower half of the face with fur. From the left cheek, we're going to step out, we're going to curve out and then down. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing, curving out and then down. I'm just going to taper that back up. Just pull that in. I'm going to create another point, coming down and then in. Let's taper that back up again, going up and in. I'm going to pull this down and in toward the bottom corner of the mouth, coming down and then in. Let's draw on the chin. Over on the left side, I'm going to curve in and then down. Taper that back up and out. Let's do one more. Coming down towards the middle. I'm just going to bend this up towards the right side, just underneath the mouth. I'm going to move up and draw on the top of the head. Let's start on the left side. I'm going to bump up the head, going out. I'm just going to pull this up towards the top. Let's add some fur along the top. I'm going to taper that back down with a short line. Go back up and over towards the right. Add another point. Coming down. Now I'm going to work my way around towards the right side of the head. I'm going to go out, round up the head, and then pull that in. Now let's add the ears on the side. From this point, we're going to step up, curve up, round up the ear, and then pull that in. And do the same thing on the right side. Now from that point, I just want to draw a short curve going up and then out for the fold in the ear. Now I'm going to move down and draw on the sides of the body. Over on the left side, just underneath the head, curve out and then down towards the hip. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to draw an oval in the center of the body, tucked in underneath the head. So on the left side, we're going to step up underneath the head, curve around, down towards the bottom. I'm just going to pull this up on the right side, underneath the head. Let's add a seam for the chest. Over on the left, we'll curve up, and then down. Now from the center, we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up, and then down for the lower torso. Now leaving a gap in the center, we're going to go over towards the left, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. Now back on the left side, let's round up the heel, we're going to curve across and up towards the toes. And do the same thing on the right, rounding this out and then going up. Let's draw on the first toe. From the end of the foot, we'll curve around and then back in, almost like drawing a C. We'll draw two more in behind. Starting from the top, come around and back in, and then one more time. Do the same thing over on the right. Now in between the last two toes, I'm going to curve up the top of the foot, and we're just going to bend that down, aiming towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right, curving up and bending that down. And then we're going to add some fur along the edge of the foot. And here we're going to curve up and out, and curve in and then down towards the heel. Let's move back up to the hips and draw on the side of the leg. From the hip, we're going to curve out and then down. About halfway down the leg, do the same thing on the right side. We're going to add some fur, taper that back up with a short line. And then from here, we're just going to curve out and then down on top of the foot. Let's move up and draw the arms stretched out towards the side. So we start on the side of the cheek on the left, curve out and then up towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving out and then up. Now from the wrist, we're going to curl around the thumb. Let's start here, we're going to curve in and up, go out. Round up the thumb, and then pull that back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by going up, rounding up the top of the thumb, come down, and then curl that back in. 
And from the inside of the thumb, we're gonna curve the palm, going out and then down. Let's add three fingers on either side. Starting on the side of the thumb, and draw a half oval. Starting up here, we're gonna curve up, rounding out the finger, and then coming back in. Step down, curve up, round out the finger. Now we're gonna tuck this in behind the thumb. Do that one more time. Coming up, around, and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Start with the first finger. Second finger is gonna go up underneath the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. Now let's draw on the bottom edge of the hand. Starting from the side of the finger, curve around, and then up, sort of aiming towards the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving around, and then pulling that up. Now similar to what we did along the ankles, we're gonna add some fur along the wrist. Starting here, we're gonna curve down and out. Now we're just gonna connect this towards the top of the wrist. Do the same thing on the right. Curving down and out with a short line and curving up toward the top of the wrist. Now let's close off the bottom of the arm. Starting at the bottom of the palm, curve down and in about halfway along the length of the arm. Do the same thing on the right side. Then we're going to add a point of fur. Curve out with a short line. Now I just want to pull this up and in behind the body. Come down and then bend that up. Same thing on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There's King Kong from Skull Island. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.